Hey guys, if you have an S340 case and you're wondering how you can do a similar build to the Snowblind like this S340 right here, so yeah, I'm going to show you how real quick. Hey guys, so if everything goes smoothly today, I'm going to be able to show you how to make your own transparent uh, screen to put on your computer. I am by means no expert in this topic, but in the last day, this is the fifth TV that I am taking apart, and the third time I'm taking apart the same TV. Hopefully everything goes smoothly with this, and I can show you guys how to do it properly. For starters, I recommend picking up this RCA TV. Uh, it's a 19 inch, it's the home and travel LED TV. I really recommend this TV uh, for your build if you have the S340 case and uh, once we get into the build I'll start explaining why. I don't have a phone stand or anything. I'm just going to be using this table so if this video is bad, blame it on that. So you're obviously going to want to start off opening up your box. Throw everything that comes with it aside because besides the power cord we're pretty much not going to be using any of it. Now with this TV I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 screws to take out. So go ahead and take all of your screws out. Now from my experience with this monitor, it's pretty easy to separate. It comes apart pretty easily. Just flip it over right here on the bottom. Just grab the stem. And this one is pretty good, unless I missed a screw. No, I got them all. This one's pretty good at just pulling apart. Right there. Alright. So once we get here, you can just take these off. Don't need those. What is this? Alright. First thing I'd do is unplug the motherboard from the actual TV. Now you guys will, you guys are going to go ahead and have to unscrew all this, but this is the third TV I'm doing. I've already got this all disassembled, so I'm not going to be taking this off. But go ahead and undo these three screws. Um, make sure you keep all this attached. Speakers you don't need, so you can unplug the speakers from the motherboard. And then these lights right here, these are for the filament lamps in here. You don't need that either, or the LEDs actually. So you can go ahead and unplug that. So unplug this and the speaker. You're just going to need your TV port, and then your power switch. Um, but like I said, I've already gone ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on from that. I'm going to go ahead and undo the screws. Oh, let me get a different screwdriver quick. Go ahead and undo the screws of this ribbon cable over here. Be careful with this part. Got that done. And then, yep, okay, so it does have these little screws on the edges too. So go ahead and get these screws quick. and get the one on the bottom. And then once the screws are out, you should be able to take this black trim off. It should just snap. Be careful with it though, because your screen's pretty unprotected right now. There we go. Okay. 
And once that's off, you can go to the ribbon cable area here. Ah, uh, tape, get off. Now be careful with this, but this whole thing should pretty much be ready to come out. There might be a little tape in areas that it's holding it back, but your screen is basically ready to come out. So you can flex a corner back. Try and try and keep it tilted this way. Up oh, there we go. See this corner, this corner right here. It's already con. Let's go ahead and grab that. All right. And it comes off like that. So this is like the light and everything. But here's your screen. That's the screen to a TV, guys. Right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick test run and make sure it actually works. One of the things I noticed when editing this is that I totally forgot to mention, you need to take a little clear layer um, off of the screen it's going to be like an anti-glare layer and it stops glare on the screen but what it's also going to do in a setting like this is it's going to stop you from being able to see straight through it and see all your components if you don't take at least one of the layers off you're not going to be able to see all of your computer components behind it there's going to be like a blur effect um, so i'm going to put a link in the description on how to or somebody else who's film that step of them taking off the anti-glare layer. Now only take off one, because there was a screen, one of the screens that I had, and the reason I had to do this three times, one of the screens, I took off both layers on both sides of the um, screen, the anti-glare film, and then I couldn't even see any of the color or any of the graphics that were on the screen, so. Oh yeah, if you guys are wondering kind of what it looks like when there's light on, it's hard to see. Go ahead, turn the lights off. So that's how I got the easier effects to see in the video, but it's not the easiest to see with the light on. There's kind of a glare and stuff like that, but oh well. All right, guys, so I'm going to do a live voice over here. So one of the reasons you want to use this RCA TV is because this motherboard right here is really small and it's really easy to fit in your case. Now, not every TV is like that. Now, right here, uh, you have a motherboard and a power supply. That's why there's two separate chips, and it's larger in real life than it looks here. Um, but it's really hard to install both of these. So what I did here is I went ahead and screwed the motherboard into my radiator using an extra thumb screw on my PC. So it just hangs there. Uh, it's kind of out of the way with that black spray paint that I put on the glass. So you really don't need to worry about that. Here we have the light panel. There are actually two strips. So if you go ahead and take off this white sheet and undo these screws, I went ahead and put both of these lights in the top of my case. Over here, this is where the lights are. So you plug your lights in right here. And you can see, like I said, I went ahead and routed them and then heared them to the top of my case, so no problems up there. And you're gonna need a lot of light in your case in order to see through it, so these just give me that extra step. So this cord down here, this is where I plugged in my controller so I can use a remote control with it. it I just tuck it away down here so it's kind of out of the way, kind of out of sight. And this right here, this is the power switch. So I took the power switch assembly apart and I just tuck it into the top there where it's kind of hidden out of the way, but you need to turn your TV on every time you come sit down at your computer. So right there, I got the little switch, so I can go ahead and turn the TV on and off. Another great thing about using the RCA case is you're able to keep the sound. So if you plug it in right here, you're able to plug the speakers into your case. I tucked them away on the back so you can't really see them. And then on the back of the motherboard, I went ahead and used electrical tape. So that way it doesn't short out on my radiator. That's something I figured out the hard way first at first hand. All right, I did miss some spots where the paint came off when I was using adhesive, but I'm gonna touch those up. But what I did is I painted a border on my case. So I removed a little bit of the metal casing that comes onto the, uh, the ribbon cable part of the TV, but it allows me right here where when I tilt the screen back, it just declips right here. So instead of breaking anything, it just kind of slides out on its own. You can get your hand in there and unclip it with your hand, but I found it easier to just do it like this. So if you guys are wondering how to adhere your screen to your tempered glass, after you've spray painted the black border on there, go ahead and just buy these little adhesive dots. I picked these up at Walmart, um, but I just placed them all around the screen and it holds it real nice. I even flew with it like this uh, from Wisconsin to North Carolina. It didn't move or fall or anything, still in good condition. Another reason why you don't want to use another screen, because look at all those ribbon cables up there. The 
screen that I have for you guys. It's just got two ribbon cables, pretty easy, pretty clean. Don't need to worry about anything. So here, this is just the power cable. So it just plugs in and then it runs all the way into the back where there's a little hole through the case. And then it slides into the bottom where I run it back up through the back of it and right into where it just plugs in on the motherboard. Pretty easy. So yeah, you just go up and go ahead and pick up the small adapter. You don't need anything big, but then you can plug any HDMI into it and just run it through the back of your case. I have a small opening in the back of my case where I can run it through the back side into the case and then plug it right into the motherboard. Thank you guys for stopping by. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope it helped most of you guys out. If I'm sorry I didn't do it quite step by step. There are other YouTubers who have filmed themselves doing this. Um, but I just wanted to make this video for anybody who's got a similar case in mind. I found the perfect screen that just goes from top to bottom and fills it all up. I haven't really found people that found one that fits um, so nice in the case. But I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys later. Bye.